Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, finally, the weekend is over. The, the French election had me a little concerned. Um, I was talking in other videos how uh, if uh, Marine Le Pen won, there would be more than likely uh, a Frexit, which is, you know, French exiting the EU following after Britain. And uh, if Macron won, he would stay in the EU. Uh, he's more of the capitalist. He wants to keep the EU together. Um, I would say people kind of compare him to, uh, like, the French Hillary Clinton, if you would say. Like, she's, like, pro-business. He's pro-business. You know, wants to prop up companies like globalism, so on and so forth. Uh, my concern was, <clears throat> I do feel like the economy is building up to a bubble we're probably in a little bit of a bubble i'm not smart enough to make any kind of prediction of when it'll collapse but if le pen would have won and she and they would have uh, left the eu I, i've like myself and others I've, I've that have talked about it all seem to at least agree that that would have, that would have been like the straw that broke the camel's back probably and collapsed the eu because the french is a, or france is a big part of the eu's economy but, um, so I guess we're safe for a little while <laughs> in that sense. The only thing I have to look forward to now is the South Korean election, which I don't think is going to be that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, it might get us involved in a war with North Korea, but, I mean, as far as the economy is concerned, I think we'll be good. And then Mexico, I think that they're starting their election next month, and then in 2018 uh, will be the election. And one guy who they're talking about a lot of, I forget his name, I'll have to look it up, but um, he's very because like like Trump is like radical, almost say radical, radic radicalizing uh, Mexicans. But like obviously Mexico is just not happy with uh, Donald Trump and everything he says. And you you could be on whatever side of the fence you are with that. I honestly don't care. The point I'm trying to make is um, if that guy wins, which he's getting a lot of support now, um, he's saying he'll refuse any trade deal or anything pretty much with america and you know say what you want mexico is our neighbor that's our, one of our closest trading part partners other than canada so you know that could be detrimental to us and then if if we lose out on major trade then we could collapse the economy because you know we lost a big trade partner and that could be a global issue but again that's not till like 2018 so we'll probably be good for a little bit um in my stash, you know, still kind of on the same uh, little run-up. Internet Titans at 10. Doing really good. I don't know if you guys are investing in tech stocks. A lot of my tech stocks are doing pretty good. Um, tech stocks always do good, in my opinion. Um, you know, people, I think, always, like, go back to the 2000 bubble. Um, and, that's, you know, that's true. Um, these, these, these companies are way overvalued, for sure. Their P.E. ratios are through the roof. But, um... It's not the uh, earnings report that's really important with tech companies. It's the innovation. You know, that's what keeps bringing the investors in. Um, like I was talking about Tesla not that long ago. You know, dude uh, is disrupting the car industry by making, you know, in my opinion, sexy ass electric cars. I fucking love those things. I would love to own one. Shooting rockets into space, you know, uh, refueling payloads um, with the International Space Station. Um, redoing solar, uh, putting basically like solar tiles, which I think is awesome, an awesome idea. Basically, it looks like you have a, just a regular ass roof, but each and every tile is solar. So, you know, you, you could do, you could save me that way. And then, you know, his, his underground tunnel idea to ease uh, congestion in LA. And I saw him at a TED Talk not that long ago. Well, I didn't see him, but, like, I saw a TED Talk. If I was there, that'd be pretty sweet. But, uh, and he he was talking about how, like, how it works. And he was, like, everybody's concerned that you build one tunnel, that get congestion. And he's talking about, you know, one tunnel's, like, uh, inadequate. You know, we have multiple tunnels and do all this stuff. But he's very forward-thinking, looking into the future and of ways to, you know, make big changes, you know, so... He's a guy that people like to invest in. That's why Tesla stock, despite what people say, stays alive because, you know, he, he he's a guy that does his business on a lot of leverage, you know. 
And as, he's got to keep marketing himself the right way and keep having big ideas and keep making these successes because that's what's going to keep people invested. Same thing with these tech stocks, you know. You know, they got to keep investors interested. They got to keep coming out with new things, you know, because that's how they get propped up to these ridiculous uh, P.E. ratios. But my Defending America, I've noticed um, talks about war and stuff have not died off but have you know just kind of eased off a little bit so i don't know if in the near future this might take a little bit of a hit because of that because like i said whenever there's talk of war or violence or anything you know gun stocks and defense stocks always go up so if it does pull back a little bit i will add more to it live long and prosper they the the uh house uh passed the bill to repeal it now that doesn't mean it's gone all the way through they just passed the bill so then it goes to senate to be voted and then from there i mean it could be bad for a lot of people um i, th I forget what the what the dude what's his face oh god it was on tip of my tongue anyway he was at his um town hall and man i love watching town halls now because it's so funny to see the the fucking crowd riot but uh this the uh one person was basically saying you know like if you do this to the healthcare, you know people are gonna lose uh their their uh care and they could die and everything you know and the guy said straight up said no one ever died for not having health care and then everybody just fucking went crazy i just i busted up laughing i'm not gonna lie that was a very ridiculous statement to say that like no one has ever died because they haven't gotten health care um actually lots of people have died because they haven't gotten proper health care so that's it's insulting and it's also just bad optics you know that just looks so bad when you say something like that especially with everything that's happening with the health care bill but um i think it's only going to continue to give this uh uh, my live long and prosper more of a boost because I think ultimately, sad to say, but I think Republicans are going to get their way and, or I should say, healthcare companies are going to get their or insurance companies, my bad, are going to get their way and it's going to it's going to drive this up. Uh, money machines, I think, are going to keep going up with all the deregulation of the banks, which is of course going to prop us up into a bigger bubble and then, which means a bigger fall, free fall from that. Um, raw earth, man, there was a. Uh, there's a story about one of these companies, and I think, I think it was Exxon. I think that's what's dragging it down, like something they paid like a fine or something like that. And I wonder if that's why this isn't doing so well. And the Wireless Wonders, um, kind of just been stagnant. Not gonna lie, I already added to it, so I'm not really gonna add any more. Um, like I, like I, like I, I don't say I live paycheck to paycheck. Like I do have a little bit of money to spend, but like most of my money I put investment. So. If I'm not putting money in my investments, which is like the past like few days or whatever, that means, you know, like I don't have money to spend. And so I got to be very cautious of how I put my money in. But, you know, I, I've already put money into these bottom three. I haven't put any of these top three because they've been positive for so long, you know. And, I, and I'm trying not to just keep adding on to them when they're up really high. I like to add to them when they're on a pullback. Um, and then still waiting for Loyal 3, of course. Uh, my Acorns, I haven't really done a video on it in a while. Um, I've talked about, like, in other videos, I've, I've noticed I've been getting a lot of comments. Um, it's a set it and forget it app, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I think a lot of people have a little bit of a hard time kind of, uh, grasping the concept, because when you go into your, uh, settings... You have, uh, you know, your your five options, you know, conservative, moderate, conservative, moderate, uh, moderately aggressive, and aggressive. And you basically have your uh, investing opportunities, you know. And I think people think cert they invest particular in each one or... Or I think if they go somewhere and they buy something that if it's related to one of these and invest in it and that's that's not uh exactly how it works. You just basically uh you choose which of these five options if you want to be aggressive, conservative, whatever, and then um whatever extra money or whatever you put in it gets invested uh and it gets divided up into these options. Whatever dividends you get from these investments get reinvested into it. And then uh, 
whatever roundups when you just do regular purchases, the extra pennies and stuff that get sent in gets divided up into these uh, different options. And they've also added one, it looks like, which is uh, international large company stocks. So I think that's the new one they added. So it used to be six, now they have seven, so that's kind of cool. But um, I think it's just kind of where people really get confused with this app. But think of it like a savings account, you know? It's just the difference is, like I said, those three things you get. Dividend reinvestments, you get roundups, and um, fuck, I forgot the third. I'm so out of it right now. Oh, well, who cares? Acor <laughs> Acorns is just there, at least for me, as my separate uh, savings account. It's just, it's all it is, is just I get a little bit better interest return, you know, like I said, I get the dividend reinvestments and stuff like that, and the roundups. That's really it, you know. I still have a savings account. It's just I like something a little extra, you know. Plus, I like having my money spread out. It looks like I have a little money in each account, but when like you add all my accounts up, you know, I have like a few thousand at least, and that's that's been a good buffer for me because like sometimes I'll spend too much money to ease back, or if I'm concerned about something, you know, it's nice knowing that I have at least a little bit of a cushion. You know, most people don't have that, and it's and it's really sad. And that's kind of one reason why I really got into doing these videos because I had a lot of questions and. You know, I really didn't talk to a lot of people about it. I really couldn't talk to a lot of people about it because no one was interested in So I turned to YouTube, and I learned as much as I possibly could. And, you know, I like sharing what I've learned with other people to try to help them. So that's kind of my whole thing with it. But um, other than that, um, then my, my cryptos, my Bitcoin, Ethereum, still waiting on this damn transfer from my bank account to to this 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 wallet let me tell you like right now i still love this app honestly it's my favorite and i get the best returns with it and and i'm very interested in cryptocurrencies but if you plan on using this i'm gonna tell you straight up if you put money in on wednesday let's say don't expect for that money to appear until next wednesday you know or maybe even a day or two after depending so just keep that in mind. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to buy something right away, like like, like right, right now Ethereum is down, I would be all over this shit if I had fucking money, right? Because I, I, sold, I sold a little bit of it right around here to put into Litecoin, and then it hit this first dip. And I was like, oh, that'd be a good time to buy, right? And it starts rounding up, and I'm like, oh, missed my opportunity. And then it dips, and, I'll, and I, think I, I think I put the 100 bucks in somewhere around here. I think I was trying to get it or something, and then it's going down and down and down. I'm just like, oh, I'm missing all the, I'm missing all this opportunity. Like it could crash. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's always the opportunity, but for me, it looks like for this little uh, startup is, and then where it dipped right here, it looks like it's kind of building support on that. So I think I think it might hit maybe one more time, and if my money's not in by then, you know, I'm gonna miss the opportunity. But uh, and then Litecoin's just chilling. Uh, ever since I had this big run up. Uh, from coming on to this app so it's doing its thing bitcoin be crazy um jesus christ it's already at, almost at 1700 it had a nice little run up fucking today i don't even know what bitcoin because a lot of people um speculate with bubbles and everything and i think they're i don't think it's in a bubble um i think because these alternate coins are getting more popular I think it's it's making people more secure in this market market space. You know what I mean? Like, if it was just Bitcoin and there there weren't these other options, then yeah, I could say we're in a bubble and we'll probably crash because you know people don't have anywhere to put their money. But now you got this wallet, which is like the most popular in the U.S., where people have three options. They also have the GDAX uh, um, exchange where they could buy and sell, and then you know other things that like it just give people more options. I think the more coins that come out that are legitimate. Let me keep that in mind legitimate coins there's a bunch of bullshit ones out there for sure i'm just only interested in the ones that have potential you know the technology behind them you know because i i'm an investor when it comes to cryptocurrency i'm not a trader so let me put it that way um so i'm, I'm looking for the long-term gain gains on these and then on my robin hood i have not done shit for a while um honestly i'm thinking i'm thinking of switching to a, a sure trader account because doing penny stocks on this app is a little difficult 
because uh, just like like the charts aren't very good. Um, and it's not meant to be good, you know what I mean? It's a super basic app. That's the whole point of it. But I feel like I need something just a little bit more. And I'm not saying like I'm blaming Robinhood, but I didn't mean I fucking love this app and I, I would recommend it to anyone. Um, I, I would say it's the first app you should get if you want to straight up buy stocks. But if you're just getting into investing, period, like you've never done anything before, I would say like go with Acorns. But um, yeah, I think I want to switch to Shirt Trader. There's uh it's just it's just like it's a more it's anything really compared to Robinhood is gonna be an upgrade in terms of like software and stuff. But of course I'm gonna have to pay fees, which will just suck, but I mean I get I get a better platform out of it, so you know, either way. Then plus I think you only need five hundred bucks anyway to open up a sure trader account, which I have bar barely six hundred right here, so that'd be perfect. Um but I don't know, I'm still debating on that, so we'll see uh we'll see what happens. But um, with that, I don't I can't think of too much other. I just want to touch on mainly those election things because you know I'm looking at the global economy and how it is going forward, and if I still feel safe investing, you know what I mean. But I will talk to y'all later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you like my channel, help me out. Click like and subscribe, and then look forward to uh. A donation uh, account type setup, but like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force you guys to watch ads. I I hate ads, and I will not monetize my videos to make you guys watch ads. I don't think that's fair. I don't want to be hypocritical in that sense, and I don't like the idea of uh, doing like a Patreon account or or whatever because then you then you all would have to store your personal information on like Patreon server, like your credit card, your address, your email, and all that stuff. And, you know, like, if anything ever happens to that account, you get hacked or whatever, you know, I'd, I'd feel bad. But I'm thinking of doing it through uh, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin where you just have your wallet and, you, you know, I just put up my wallet address. And then if you want to just donate whatever you can, you know, there's no mandatory, there's no monthly subscription, there's no, no crap like that. It's just like, hey, you want to throw me a buck or two or whatever? Like, cool. And what I would like to do with that, like I said, is... I want to get a backdrop. I want to. I want to get like a good camera. I want to get like a little setup, and I want to make a more more videoing, uh, doing like being in front of the camera and talking about a lot of more topics and stuff like that. And do do more quality videos rather than just you know my 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 phone videos. I'm sure after some point, you know, people get sick of this. So <laughs> I'd like to uh, change it up, and I think that might be an interesting way for you all to to benefit from it. But that'll be in the near future. So pay attention for that. Um, and that's all. So. Thanks as always and appreciate the support. Have a good day.